Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today is the video five in the series on how to get the most out of your Nitro engine. Uh, now that we have all the stuff in the previous videos addressed and set perfectly, we're going to talk about the carburetor and the engine. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the high-end needle and what it does. Uh, this needle basically controls how much fuel goes into the carburetor, and it affects the high speed, um, high revs of the engine. So this is the needle I always start with to tune with. I tune this to get the maximum RPM out of the engine. And why I start with this one first is because it affects the mid-range and the low end. And how you adjust this needle is basically either turning the needle clockwise, which is screwing it in to restrict fuel, or turning it counterclockwise, which is loosening it to give more fuel. And this is often, people say leaner is restricting the fuel, richer is opening the carburetor up, which is giving more fuel. Um, and when people say, uh, say for riching it up an hour, imagine this is a 12 hour clock and going from, uh, 12 to 11 is richer. And then obviously the other way is leaner, but at basically a 12th of a turn is one hour. So it's, you want to make very small adjustments when you adjust this. So after I've got the high end tuned, I'll move down to the low end. And what this controls is, uh, this basically from idle to the first 25% of throttle. Um, this is, I tune this with the idle screw as well. I try to get the idle as low as possible, and then I'll tune the low end for that. Um, if the idle, say, is too high, it can make your car run on, which then makes you think your engine's maybe too lean. So then you'll go and richen this up, which will, may bring the idle down, but also it'll make your car um, kind of sputter and not take off as fast or not have the power it should when you go from idle to the to getting on the throttle. So the idle um, and low end kind of work together. So you want to make sure you're not adjusting your low end if your idle may be off or vice versa. So then we once we got the top end and low end tuned, I'll move down to the mid-range. And this is kind of the final touch I'll do on the engine. Uh, you'll hear a lot of people say, don't touch the mid-range. And if you don't have a lot of experience, I would maybe take that advice and not mess with this too much. But as you get more familiar with the engine, you can start to play with this. Uh, this is a very important adjustment. You have to make very small adjustments again with it, but it can make your car, um, if you don't have it set right, it won't. the power band might not feel linear or quite as crisp as it could. So this is kind of just after idle uh, or just after the you get going 25% throttle from that point to when you get to full throttle, it kind of affects that. So when I'm tuning the mid-range, uh, I'll clean the engine out like I'll get a couple good blips and then I'll hit the brakes and then let the engine come down to idle and then I'll slowly pull the throttle. And you'll feel the engine that it'll go through the bottom end and it'll go and if it, uh, as you're going through the throttle about there, if the engine, if the mid-range isn't right, it might kind of bog down or feel like it's loading up a bit and then it'll go once you get past that. Or if it's really lean, you'll get to this point and it'll, the engine will kick up really high and then it'll get back to top end. So I like to, when I, ideally, is you'll go through the whole trigger and the engine will slowly gain RPM the whole way, really smooth, kind of like an electric car would. That's about the perfect uh, mid-range tune. So once you got all that tuned, uh, FX engines, they do hold their tune very well and they do idle well. So that's, another, that's a good plus that's for trying to keep your engine running properly. Um, but once you have it tuned at a certain race weekend, if you need to maybe, like if it's hot in the day and then it, you race at night, usually you only have to adjust the top end a little bit. And then again, the reason for that is, is because it affects the mid-range and the low end as well. So you only have to really do that if you're just tuning it from morning to night or morning to afternoon when it gets, when the temperature changes outside. Uh, but then if you go to a different track, different elevation, you might have to adjust all three again. But if you're just a race weekend, it's pretty simple. You just might have to adjust the top end just a little bit. So that's part five on how to get the most out of your en nitro engines. I'm really excited to be running for FX now. If you're at a race that I'm at, don't hesitate to come over and ask me and my dad about how to tune the engine or if you have any questions on it at all. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.